Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to cover a few more questions off the math ACT. Now remember the best way you can prepare for this test is to just practice. So let's dive in and do just that. So in this question we're looking at a vertical rod that's 12 feet tall and it casts a 4 foot shadow. At the same time there's a flagpole that we don't know how big it is but it casts a 12 foot shadow. Well what this is is actually a similar triangle question, meaning that the ratios between these two stay the same. So if I'm going from four to 12 here, I should be able to make the same jump from here to here. Well, if you go from four to 12, you're multiplying by three. So I have to multiply this guy by three as well. Well, 12 times three is going to give me 36. So this flagpole is 36 feet tall. So this is a very common type of question where they're giving you four scores and they ask you the fifth score that would be needed in order to get a specific average. So in this case, they want the average to be 90 points. So I'm going to go ahead and say I want my average to be 90. Well, how do you find average? Well, you add up the five test scores and then you divide by five. We're missing this guy right here, which means essentially this is an algebra question that we're looking at here, solving for x. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply this 5 to the other side. That's instead of 90 over here is going to give me 450 by multiplying the 5 over. Now we need to add these guys up. That's going to give me 353. And to get x by itself, since we're adding, we're going to have to subtract this to the other side. So 450 minus that 353 is going to give me a final answer. 97. So two ways to do this one. You could straight up plug the negative 5 in for x everywhere and solve, or you can recognize that this is a difference of squares, meaning it can be factored into x plus 1 and x minus 1, meaning that the x plus 1 is going to cancel out with the bottom. Now this question just becomes x minus 1, so negative 5 minus 1 is going to give me negative 6, which is answer A. So it says for number four that Kaya ran one and two-fifths mile on Monday and two and one-third miles on Tuesday. What was the total distance in miles that Kaya ran during those two days? So the hardest part here is adding fractions together because the one plus two should not be an issue, but the two-fifths plus the one-third might be. So let's take a look at this. Two over five plus one over three. Now, you may have forgotten, but when you're adding fractions, you need to have the same number on the bottom. So what we do is we multiply both the top and bottom by the same number to get the two bottom numbers to be the same. So in this case, what's the smallest number that five and three both go into? Well, it's 15. So five times what is going to give me 15? Well, five times three gives me 15. So I have to multiply both the top and bottom by that three. So two times three is going to give me six, and five times three is 15. Likewise, three times what gives me 15? Well, three times the five is gonna give me 15. So I gotta multiply the top by five as well. So one times five is five. So we have five over 15. Now we can add straight across the top. So six plus five is gonna give me 11 over 15. Now remember, we still have to add that one and two to give us three. So we have the final answer of three and 11 over 15, which is gonna be answer K. Questions like this are just absolutely crazy. So it's just playing mind games with you. You just got to play by their rules and call it a day. So it says, consider the three statements below to be true. So you don't get to decide if these are true or not. They are true. Accept them as true. They are your new life now. So all insects that are attracted to honey are ants. Insect I is not an ant. Insect J is attracted to honey. Okay. So which of the following statements is necessarily true? Insect eye is an ant not attracted to honey. Now, we're looking to see what's true here. Remember, these are life. So it says insect eye is an ant. False. Insect eye is not an ant. We know this to be true, so A is out. Insect eye is an ant. I'm done. It, not an ant. Eye is not an ant. Insect eye is attracted to honey. Well, we know that all insects are attracted to honey are ants. An insect eye is not an ant, so that can't be true. C's out. Insect J is not attracted to honey. Well, it says right here it is attracted to honey, so that's out as well. Man, I hope E is correct. Insect J is an ant. Well, it says insect J is attracted to honey, and we know that all insects that are attracted to honey are ants. So therefore, this one is true. Well, guys, that's all the practice we're going to do today. So thanks for joining me. And remember, if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and click one of the videos over here, and we'll go ahead and hook you up.